So, did you find any Lincoln artifacts in the museum? I suppose I could give you ten caps. It's not very inspiring, is it? You've got to be kidding. I'll get someone to burn this. You seem like a right-thinking person. I've got a proposition for you. I'm looking for some escaped slaves. I'll pay 100 caps for information about their leader, Hannibal Hamlin. Interested? Perfect. Don't go trying to kill them or capture them yourself. I'll take care of that. Oh, and stay out of the memorial. My men have standing orders to shoot anyone that gets too close. Not exactly something that will rally slaves, eh? I'll give you 15 caps for it. Sure, why not? Hmm, can't burn pennies. I'll have to toss them into the Potomac. This is truly a dangerous book. I'll pay 75 caps for it. <laughs> You're going to bleed me dry at this rate. You've got a deal. I'm going to burn it one page at a time. His rifle, you say? Yes, I am interested. Damn, this thing looks like crap. I'll give you 100 caps for it. All right, all right. I'll pay it. It's a shame I have to destroy this. It's a fine weapon. Sure. Silas will tell them you're allowed up there. Stop gawking. You don't want to piss off Mr. Walker.
What's your business, stranger? Hannibal says I gotta let folks like you in, but that don't mean I have to like it. Keep your hands in sight and don't make any sudden moves. I'm coming down to open the gate. Hannibal is upstairs somewhere. I'm locking the door behind you, so don't try anything. I'm watching you. Ah, a visitor. Welcome to the Temple of the Union. I'm not going to ask you who you are. Uh, for the moment, I don't care. We are all escaped slaves. I need your solemn promise not to betray us to Paradise Falls or the slavers. Until I get that, you cannot leave here. So, do I have your word? Welcome, brother, to the Temple of the Union. Our home is your home. Your past is your own affair, so long as you serve our common good. As a symbol of our trust, here is a key to the gate. That's Abraham Lincoln, the great emancipator. We don't know how it came to be here, but it's fitting, don't you think? For 23 years, I was a slave. Ever since I was 14. Six years ago, I managed to escape from my master. He's been hunting me ever since. When I found the head of Lincoln here, I knew it was a sign for me to help other slaves to escape. I founded the Temple of the Union as a safe haven for runaway slaves everywhere. We are trying to make a safe haven for all runaway slaves. We give food and supplies to any that find us and help them on their way. We don't have enough room. There's not enough water or food here. But I have a plan. A plan to take over a place that will be a shining beacon of hope for all slaves. I want to move all my people to the memorial site for the great Abraham Lincoln, but I need to know if it's safe. I've heard rumors of super mutants infesting that area, though. We need to send someone to check that out first. Slavers? Dear God, they must know about our plans. Do whatever you have to do to make the memorial site safe for my people. Before you leave, speak with Caleb. He'll need your help, too. He was a stonemason. It will fall to him to restore the memorial as best he can. He's been pestering me for weeks now to get him some things he needs. I don't have time to deal with him right now. May the spirit of the great Lincoln protect you. You're new. I'm Caleb. If you're going to be staying a while, I could use some help. Hannibal told you about Lincoln's memorial? Well, he doesn't just want to live there. He also wants to restore it. Make it so people tell stories about it and the word can get to the slaves. But I can't restore something if I don't know what it looked like. I need a drawing, a photograph of it. Our ancestors honored Lincoln's life with a display in the Museum of History. I'm hoping that a picture of the memorial still survives in there. The stone head is from the statue of Abraham Lincoln. Hannibal wants me to reattach it to the statue in the memorial. Long time ago, eight years I think, three of us escaped during the night. They caught Lysel and John. I made it into the wasteland. Raiders took me in at first. When I heard about this place, I knew I had to come here. We are the only hope for runaway slaves everywhere. Rivet City and the Citadel can't be bothered with helping slaves. They turn a blind eye. We are the only ones willing to stand against Paradise Falls and slavery. My former master trained me in masonry. I fix things. Someday I hope to reattach Lincoln's head to the statue in the memorial. Okay. You have a picture. And such a large one, too. I'll have no problems restoring the memorial with this. Thank you. Okay. I suppose you aren't as bad as I thought. Everything is done? I can hardly believe it. 
We are finally gonna realize the dream! We'll start out within the hour. We'll meet you at the site. Odd. Most wastelanders wouldn't have agreed to help us. Thanks to you, we are able to make this journey. We will rebuild the great memorial to Lincoln and give hope to slaves everywhere. I'll give you six hours. Then we're moving on anyway.
What is it? Finally. Thank you for all your help. I suppose you aren't as bad as I thought. Most Wastelanders wouldn't have agreed to help us. You don't look like much, stranger. Bet you run from rad roaches. I'm Simone Cameron. Don't fuck with me. Hannibal says I can't shoot you, but I ain't trusting you with a gun to my back. D what is it? You are truly a good person. So many others refuse to help us. We've got to get those slavers cleared out of the memorial. I'm sure Hannibal is cooking up a plan. You have been good to your word. You are welcome at the Temple of the Union anytime. Take these schematics as a token of our gratitude. His real voice? How is that possible? I must have it. I'll give you 50 caps for it. Oh, we're too poor for that. We will enshrine this right away. To think that even the great Lincoln was felled by an assassin. This is a reminder to all that we must remain vigilant. I would like to buy it from you for 50 caps. It's worth it. We'll hang this where everyone can see it. Yeah, see ya. Hello? Hey. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Have a seat anywhere. Someone will be with you in a minute. Yes.
something suspicious, be sure to tell the security officer. Yes, sir? Yes? Hey. <coughs> I heard that a bunch of former slaves from Paradise Fall set up a free chapel. I'd better get home. That would be worried. Yes? Welcome to Potomac Attire. One of the new immigrants died of radiation poisoning last night. Yeah, I heard she was drinking red yes. water. The ship's water isn't much better. If we don't get Hello? This place is closing soon. Do your business and get out. Was there something else? Yes? Oh yeah, I heard about that. Closing time. Dr. Lee and her staff left to get Project Purity ready. You don't belong here! Like you are bad for business. This time you'd better follow the rules. Hey there. Hey there. Hello, mister. Don't you have a component to deliver? Welcome to Rivet City Supply. I've got a little bit of everything here. Take a look around. I got all kinds of stuff in here. Let me or a security officer know if you see anything out of the ordinary. I'm a little busy right now. Is there a problem? What's that supposed to mean? Look, kid, I don't have time for existential debate. And I'm not interested in whatever religion you're peddling. Excuse me? Look, kid, you have exactly five seconds to explain what you're trying to do here, or you'll be leaving Rivet City by the way of the nearest porthole. Truth. If there's one thing I've learned, it's this. There is no such thing as THE truth. Just the appearance of truth. And for anyone to try to sell their version of the truth, they need evidence. You have no evidence for your ridiculous claims. So I have no more time to waste talking with you.
All right. I'll humor you. But this is impossible. I can't be a robot. I'm a human being. I breathe. I eat. Hell, I cut myself shaving this morning. I was bleeding. Robots don't bleed. I'm not sure what to say. I'm not sure what to even think about all this. I'll admit, this is pretty convincing evidence. But it doesn't make any sense. How can this be possible? My God, I, I remember, I remember it all, from before, Zimmer, the Commonwealth, the Institute, my God, all those runners I brought down, you, you made me remember, why, how, I, never mind, I just, my God, what am I going to do, my life, everything, it's all a lie. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to shove him into a very small box and send him north where he belongs. Hmm. He is a security threat, isn't he? All right. I authorize you to carry out Dr. Zimmer's execution. Don't think this gives you license to run around shooting anyone you want. Just Zimmer. And that bodyguard, if he gets in the way. Here, use my weapon. I've had it forever. It's never let me down. Consider it a token of my appreciation. I have two sets of memories. One android, one human. Some of these are mine. Some belong to someone else. But I'm choosing to be human. It's my choice. The people on this boat look to me to protect them. So that's what I'm going to do. Carry on, then. Was there something else? Hey! Don't mind me, mister. This is a medical clinic. Please don't disturb any of my patients. The sooner you find my property, the sooner I can get out of this slum. Really, how do you people live like this? Harkness, you say? Yes, yes, that makes sense. He used to work for a special branch of the Commonwealth Police, after all. And he's right here, in Rivet City? Excellent! I must wait, find an opportune moment to confront him. Thank you for your discreet assistance and continued discretion regarding this matter. And now for your payment. This combat module will directly affect your central nervous system. I think you will find it quite beneficial.
You're not... not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? 
Good. I was afraid I was going to have to abandon my lab here. That would mean starting all over again. It's not easy trying to make Ultra Jet, you know. I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. I distill it down to its base contents and add that to the formula, then presto, Ultra Jet. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So, you in? Fine, anything to get what I need. Now scram, I got some preparing to do. Get away from me, smooth skin. Slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? Oh, the new kid? Yeah, Vance said we should be expecting someone soon. You can head on in, but I would speak to Vance first if I was you. You can find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. 
We are a badass gang, and we don't take shit from nobody. We also don't like nosy assholes who creep around asking too many stupid questions. This lovely hole in the ground is Moresti, the headquarters of The Family. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. Tamper with that and we're gonna have a problem. I'm surprised you don't know me. I'm Brianna. I take care of the men around here. Well, unmarried ones, anyway. Vance has him in meditation right now. No one's supposed to be in there. Poor kid. He looks like he could use another friend. I think this is the best place for him. Out there, he'd be hunted like all of us were. Sorry. Nope. Like I told you, Vance has him in meditation right now. No one's supposed to be in there. It's the last place I ever expected to end up. I mean, look at this place. It's so dark and dingy. What this place needs is a lady's touch. But don't tell Vance I said that. How about just the coolest gang this side of the U.S.? As long as we listen to Vance's rules and listen to his stuff, he lets us do pretty much whatever we want. Bye, sweetie. I don't think I've met you yet. The name's Alan. What did you want? I don't have any authority here. I'm pretty new myself. Justin's been trying to talk to Ian, make him feel better. Maybe you should speak to him. Right now I call this place home. The only home that's ever let me stay with my... problems. Well, anyone that Vance takes in because of their special problems can be part of the family. Guess I'll see you around. I thought I knew everyone in the family, but I don't recognize you. You must be one of Vance's new initiates. My name's Justin. I'm pretty new here myself. Ian, what do you want from him? I'd never thought of it that way. I suppose he should get a chance to talk to someone like you. Here's the password to his isolation area. Just please don't mention my name to Vance about this. No, just that Vance said he isn't to be disturbed while he's in meditation. Yes, I know. He told me. Surprised? Well, Ian was there when it happened and did nothing to stop it. 
If you ask yourself why, the answer is obvious. He belongs with us here. He's one of us. Don't deny him his rightful home. I understand. Goodbye. Hey there. What is it? I haven't had a customer in a while. Last one I had was a bit chewy. Know what I mean? Do I look like a fucking babysitter? I don't know where he is. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your feelings? <laughs> Tough shit. This is the real world. You want to know something? Find it out your damn self. If your caps are good, you can buy whatever you like. Beat standing there drooling all over the merchandise. Pleasure doing business with you. Say it ain't so. Watch it, will you? I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Holly, Vance's wife. I'm afraid Vance has him in isolation and there's no way I'm going to override Vance's orders. He's a good kid. I think Vance will set him along the correct path soon. Like he did for all of us. You don't think he's already messed up? Come on, don't kid yourself. 
We pulled him out of that shithole town just in time. It was good talking to you. What do you need? <laughs> <laughs>